Alright y'all, it's been a week, according to YouTube, since my last video. Um, and the factor of me talking on screen seems to have boosted views, I guess. I don't really know. No one ever leaves me a comment. Hint, hint, comment. Mmm. But anyways, um... This will be on year three on, uh, this will be Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, Harry's third year, so, let's see here, uh, I guess I, I, I should say if those of you who are watching have not read the books, uh, you'll probably be real lost when I uh, mention stuff that's actually in the books and not in the movies because what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to convey is uh, a video game that is more based upon the books. So it actually follows what's in the books uh, more than what we see, what we have seen in the movies. And what comes out of the creative minds of the people who create the game. My problem is there, there's so much information in the books that when I actually sit down with the book for the year that I'm talking about for said game... I have an issue with trying to figure out what to put in. I want I want a longer game, but I don't want it so long that you would turn it off right after just the narration. I want you to I want to set up a baseline, a baseline of what what we're dealing with in this particular year in this particular game so in this particular year uh, eventually we do find out that the big black dog that is following Harry around is actually Sirius Black who spoiler alert Sirius does not kill Harry did not kill Harry Potter's parents get them killed let me specify <laughs> Sirius Black did not get Lily and James Potter killed he did not give them up I am not going to tell you who because I'll I'll deal with that later on but again this game will be set up like every other the other two games so we still have we'll still have the same uh, game setup. So the game will look the same. Uh, whether I think with this kind of game, it's best to get like a with, with all all three of the games so far. Uh, it's best to have kind of a cartoony look, but maybe a more realistic look mixed into it. Um, so, of course, by now our characters will be, you no, know, they'll be 13, they're going into their third year. Uh, they'll be taller for the boys, their voices will be deeper, but again... As for years one and two, we are still dealing with the same voice actors and actresses that had voiced the previous the pre in the previous years. Um, let's see here. This also is the year that we meet some. Uh, we we deal with some new things, so. The way I see it is, okay, so, uh, it's nearly or almost midnight 
as we start the uh, game and we're coming kind of I guess zooming down from the sky onto number four private drive uh, to the Thursley's house where we go into Harry's room and we see this I, I, I this like emitting from uh, this hump of covers it's where we find Harry doing his homework in secret because of course we all know the Dursleys hate uh, what Harry is and that's you know they hate him because he is magical so <laughs> up starting from the Dursleys through uh, Harry doing his, finishing up as much as of his uh, essay for his history of magic class up until even through uh, Harry blowing accidentally blowing up Aunt Marge yes we will see that uh, to the night bus to the leaky cauldron Diagon Alley we will this will all be narration and it'll be narration even up to them getting on uh, the Hogwarts Express okay okay sorry neighbor I'm out walking neighbor I had to get out of their way um Let's see here. It'll be all narration up up until like the very first morning. So once we get through all that narration from the Dursleys' house through the uh, big start of term feast and all that, then we'll then we'll have. Um, be able to play we'll be able to again all classes although I think what I believe what I'm going to do with this one since of course this is the year also that we're introduced to the time turner thanks to Hermione but uh, like okay so transfigurations, charms, potions, um, and care for magical creatures that will all be playable. Of course, you'll be learning new, uh, well, with care of magical creatures, you're just, you're learning about different uh, creatures. Uh, charms and transfigurations and potions and what have you you'll learn different new potions and spells which will be added to your year three spell book in your spell inventory which will already have your years one and two spells so every spell that you've learned from sorcerer stone philosopher stone wherever you're at um, to Chambers of Secrets you will have at your disposal um, oh and Defense Against the Dark Arts it will be another class that will be uh, playable of course Divinations I don't think you don't need to be playing <laughs> Divinations will be narration um uh, I, I see kind of like, and this was hard for me to kind of describe in my last two videos, and I should have in my last video described this, but I like to see kind of a, a, a social interaction in between the characters. So, so if you come across a character that say oh uh, well it, say harry has an issue with like draco 
you'll have that inter interaction. Of course, in this year, uh, we'll play in Quidditch up until Harry's broom. Harry is, uh, until Harry falls off the broom because of the Dementors. This is the year that he learns Expecto Patronum. If you all have not played the PS2 version of The Prisoner of Azkaban, one thing that really, really annoyed me besides the whole follow me thing was the fact that Ron and Hermione were always underfoot. That and uh, Harry didn't learn every single spell. He learned a select few spells, while Ron and Hermione learned their select few spells. So, I'm going to say, like, for classes and stuff, uh, uh, Ron and Hermione will join you. Well, of course, in this one, Hermione will be gone for most of the time when you actually go to the class and sh randomly just show up during the class. But, so basically, we will have some more narration, but it'll be like for cutscenes. Uh, social interactions will deal with uh, a prompting menu or what have you. Or... I, it could lead into a cutscene. I don't, I don't really know. There's a lot of stuff, like I've said. Um, flying class is just for Harry. And, yeah, just for Harry. So, as far as we know, up till, the, uh, up till now, we don't know if Ron's actually on the team yet. Uh, so... Again, that's since Harry actually, there's more Quidditch games. I'm pretty sure there's more Quidditch games in this year. We'll play more so Quidditch uh, practice slash flying practice will be only for Harry. Um, we'll still have... We'll have Fred and George's th this year being that they're more, a little more strict about uh, safety protocols because they believe that Sirius Black is a killer coming back to kill Harry. Um, it will be strict when it calls for it. But like, so like, when Harry is given the Marauder's Map by the Weasley Twins, you won't have to go through, basically kind of jumping through a hoop, you won't have to go through a quest to get it. It'll be a cutscene where you're, once Fred and George grab you, it'll initiate like a cutscene where they show, they, they give you this map. Um, I'm trying to think of, of course this is the year we also find out that uh, their new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher is a werewolf so we learn about that uh, later on in the year we'll learn who actually does who actually did uh, get Lily and James Potter killed and we will see Scabbers, who is also Peter Pettigrew, um, will had will do the time turner thing where Hermione explains to Harry what how she's been getting to all of her lessons that year. Um, uh, so we'll save Buckbeat, we'll save Sirius, and all that. Uh, of course, uh, Harry's hearing at the ministry will happen. Uh, no, wait, I, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. 
Oops. Um, but, yeah, well, it, well, basically classes are playable except for maybe uh, divinations because no one wants to sit there and play a div divinations class. Um, Quidditch and flying class that's playable but Harry only. You'll deal with finding lost things again like the previous years when the student who loses the lost item uh, asks you they'll come and ask you to help them find this thing. Through that quest, you'll earn your ever flavor beans. And at the completion of the quest, you will, from that student, get a uh, Famous Witches and Wizards card. The beans will, again, with this year, where, where they're so... Uh, being so protective of the students for safety's sake this year uh, Fred and George won't have a store you can still buy things from them but they'll be uh, they'll be posted in random locations uh, in within the school that way uh, once, like, once you get the Marauders map, you'll get, and you deal with, uh, sorry about all the moving around, and you get, uh, uh I've lost my train of thought. You get the Marauders map. Once you get it, and you, you've, uh, and once you've completed one of the lost items quest, uh, you'll get a prompt saying, well, you know, uh, the map will blink up on the screen. You'll click on the map and it'll show you where either Fred or, or George or both are. And you can go to them, buy spells, uh, cards, s silly little pranks, something. I don't, they probably won't help you out throughout the school, but just uh, buy chocolate frogs for stamina and uh, collagen cakes and stuff, stuff like that, and some joke type stuff, so maybe Fred and George can uh, teach you fun spells that uh, and stuff like that so just uh, again it'll be different from its predecessors and especially with the classes because the classes that bothered me where you go to a class and it's like today, today you're learning the wand lighting spell. Well, you don't get the wand lighting spell before you go into the challenge. You have to do the challenge in pitch dark, black darkness. So that's why I was looking at splitting the class up into two sessions. A more theoretical session where you actually learn the stinking spell. So you learn, uh, you you would learn the spell, and then uh, if it's not a, if you don't have the class again that same day, it'll it'll be a two part. So instead of two sessions, like instead of saying going to herbology and learning. Defendo or whatever or learning about I'm not sure what they learn about in their third year in herbology but uh, uh, let's go back to year two they learn about mandrakes well maybe this isn't a week that they do herbology twice a week uh, 
So initially it'll be in two parts. So like the first part when you initially go into the class you you uh you learn the theory behind it so you learn okay so defendo is used to cut things well this is or uh, okay i said mandrake sorry um i i lost my train of thought again but okay like you're like backtrack year two they learned about mandrakes well let's say it's a week that they have herbology but they don't have it twice a week well in that first in that only herbology class they'll have two parts to it the first part they'll learn about what a mandrake is what its purpose is for and of course we potting them has nothing to do with the theory but your practical side of the class will be to repot the mandrake so you'll repot it uh, and I'm not sure if you actually learned Defendo in herbology but if you do if that is a herbology spell which I, I could see it being it but say you're learning defendo well you learn you learn the theory you learn what it is you learn defendo you learn what it does and you practice the spell you practice the pronunciation and the wand movement well once you master that and you learn the spell you unlock you unlock the practical side of the class, which will be the challenge where you get your house points. You'll get maybe, and you'll like for the uh, theory side of the class before you fully learn the spell, you'll do like a short little quiz, and by doing that, by getting all the right answers for it you'll learn the spell and it unlocks the challenge so you learn the spell that's about say 10 or 20 house points right there well let, let's make it 10 and uh, once you unlock the challenge this is the practical side you show you can show the teacher how to use the spell so you'll go into the spell challenge and you'll you'll apply the spell that you just know that you just learned and and based on how well you complete it base uh, will determine how many house points that you get so say a perfect a perfect run through a spell challenge meaning you don't die uh or yeah you don't let's say you don't die it'll be worth 50 house points at most you get 50 house points if it's perfect uh and it goes down so depending on how many times you actually die within the challenge will determine actually how many um, how many house points you get at the end uh, but yeah well and Ron and Hermione Ron and Hermione aren't underfoot they'll go with Harry when it calls for them so they'll be there for classes they'll be there for meals if they are together in a certain scene they will be there they will be uh, NPCs meaning we won't control them which you know there's no point in having to have well this is this is at your all's class you know but this is Harry's spell or this is only Hermione's spell or this is only Ron's spell well what's the point 
if if it's just for that particular person, what's the point if the other two don't learn it? See, if they don't learn it, well, there's no point in saying it's this particular character spell and only they can learn it. Well, shouldn't Ron and her, if Hermione's learning Glacius, shouldn't Ron and Hermione be, or Ron and Harry, sorry, Ron and Harry be able to do Glacius? If, you know, Hermione's learning a Reparo, shouldn't Ron and Harry learn Reparo? If Ron's learning uh, the uh, more advanced version of the wand lighting spell, shouldn't the other two, shouldn't Harry and Hermione know it too? I mean, come on. What's the point of teaching these spells if only one out of the three, one character out of the trio is the only person who can use that spell. So that will be something that will change. Um, again, I want the games longer, but I don't want them made longer because of narration. So if narration is called for, it'll be there. So yeah, if cutscenes happen, there will be narration. It'll it'll be a nice break, but it, it it'll advance the plot more, and uh, of course in this one, we all know it's only Hermione who has the use of the time turner. So when it comes to that point in the game that you have to go back in time, we will. Oh. Well, that could, I guess that could go either way. She could be an NPC still, and you're prompted to go to Hermione, and it'll be a cutscene where she explains to you everything, which seems more, uh, more logical, because then you'll have to, you'll have to follow Hermione. You'll have to follow her rules in time traveling. So yeah. I'd say for the time turner, Hermione is still a non-playable character, an NPC, and all you do is you're prompted to go to her, and during that time that you're back in time, you um, follow Hermione unless it calls for Harry to do something. So, like, when it calls for Harry to save himself and uh, and serious from the Dementors, it'll be Harry's. And it will be a simple control, oh my gosh, with the PS2 version of this year, of this game. You had to actually charge your, your Patronus spell, and it was so hard because you not only charged it, but you had to guide your Patronus and do it several times to make a path through these Dementors. Now, once, once you press the button to conjure your Patronus, it will come out and bust through the Dementors without you having to guide it because once you conjure it, it will that'll actually lead to a cutscene because that also leads to Snape coming down and getting Harry and Sirius from the lake and then and all that so but yeah basically you'll you'll have cutscenes here and there's the narration and you'll have social prompts uh, Harry is the only one who does flying and quidditch. Um, Ron and Hermione, being that you don't play, you won't be able to play as them. Uh, they won't be constantly underfoot. They won't get in the way. Fred and George will be posted in random spots around the school for their store. Uh, characters that lose their belongings 
will follow you and you'll help them find their belongings. You know, from them, from that quest, you'll gain your ever flavor beans. And from completing the quest, you'll get your uh, a famous witches and wizards card. Which by by filling by having ten to a book page will increase your stamina, your life. So yeah, it, everything's basically the same. Just. Uh, characters are older you learn about werewolves and dementors and all that stuff and uh, it just it, it, it's all, an all around better game longer but um, that's it